Hi, David. Uh, it's great to have you here. Thanks for taking the time to join me to talk about Chainlink Labs. Uh, the organization behind Chainlink joined the Hedera Governing Council. And this isn't your first experience with Hedera. You and I go back now several years. Can you talk a little bit about your background? Yeah, we do go back a couple of years. I think uh, when we first met, you hadn't probably yet rec recruited your first council member. So uh, you, you have come a long way uh, since then. So yeah, we met when, at I, when I was at IBM and uh, I started engaging with your team, uh, I think very, very early and immediately saw how interesting the Hedera Governance Council was and how this was gonna kind of be a game changer for, for enterprise blockchain. So as you know, when I was at IBM, I was the, the primary advocate for uh, IBM joining the council, which took a lot longer, I think, to negotiate than, than, than Chainlinks Labs joining. Uh, but it was a great experience getting to know each other and working together. And obviously, IBM is now a, a member of the council. Um, they joined for a reason, uh, as did all of the other members that you have. And I think that the, the reason why is because the, the council within the DLT space is a, is a pretty unique structure for collaboration in terms of bringing leading organizations around the table to really uh, determine how to best bring uh, blockchain into the enterprise mainstream. Yeah, excellent. Thank you for that history. I know that uh, those watching this are going to be interested in that. Also, for those that don't really understand the difference between Chainlink and Chainlink Labs, can you explain that distinction? Yeah, so Chainlink is, uh, is an open source public road protocol uh, run by hundreds of independent node operators, including organizations like T-Systems, who is affiliated with Deutsche Telekom. So the right way to think about Chainlink is this is the decentralized Oracle network. Um, Chainlink's lab's responsibility is to uh, basically help uh, enhance the adoption of the Chainlink protocol. So that, that is the differentiation. So you might see Chainlink in an announcement and that refers to uh, the, the technology and the open source public protocol. Uh, when you see Chainlink Labs is a member of the Gov Governance Council, um, the, that's the organization that I work for. Um, we are responsible for uh, facilitating and enhancing the adoption of the overall uh, Chainlink protocol. So th that is the, the, the vision of, uh, of responsibilities. Great. Yeah. Thank you for that. So this is the first Web3 organization to join the Hedera Governing Council. It's very different uh, than those like IBM, LG, Google, Tata, Communications, and others that have previously joined us. Can you talk a little bit about why Chainlink Labs has joined the council and how does council membership differ from your usual partnerships? Those are good questions. So one of the things we're very focused, focused on, and I think you and I have been talking about this for a year, Mance, is how to align enterprise transaction volume with next generation smart contracts. Now, when we say smart contracts, uh, for those watching, smart contracts really aren't that smart and that they don't have an inherent ability to access external data. So what Chainlink's role is, is actually to make smart contracts smart. If you look at the DeFi uh, summer, which is extending into another DeFi summer, a lot of that happened because of Chainlink's price data and, uh, price data and other data feeds. And the reason why that's important is because uh, obviously you want smart contracts to be executing in a decentralized way, highly automated, um, that can happen in the absence of external data, whether that's a, a supply chain use case that uses IoT sensors, or whether that's a lending protocol that's allowing people to exchange value in a decentralized fashion. That is only possible if you have high quality and secure external data. And that's kind of the, the bread and butter uh, of, of Chainlink as a network and Chainlink Labs as, as an organization promoting uh, that, that open source protocol is to allow new use cases to emerge because the data inputs are highly credible and, and highly secure. So we, uh, we, if you look at the emergence and the intersection of CFI and DeFi, we think that uh, Hedera is a place where this could occur in a meaningful type of way. And we want to kind of, just like you are bridging the gap between enterprises that want to participate in DLT, we want to have a meaningful role in collaborating with you and the other council members to essentially take the next step, which is further enhancing, uh, making and improving, innovating with uh, next generation smart contracts that can help the premise of, of DLT be further realized. Excellent, thank you. Well, you know, from a council participation standpoint, what does success look like to you as Chainlink Labs? 
for Chainlink Labs, I think success is, is having the opportunity really to bring these two worlds together in a meaningful type of way. You, you have successfully convened industry leaders on the council and you asked what the difference was between this arrangement that Chainlink's lab has and, and other things that Chainlink has announced. Well, this is, this is kind of the, uh, the, we haven't joined governance of a network as Chainlink Labs before. This is kind of the first time that we're engaged in it. So my, my aspiration is this partnership really becomes a, a driving force between bringing together CFI and DeFi, bringing together enterprise blockchain with crypto economic systems in, in, the, in the public DLT market, really kind of setting the frame and setting the stage for what's possible in the realm of innovations. When, when enterprises come to Hedera, they do so for a reason. It's because Hedera is, is one of the uh, layer ones out there that's primarily focused on at the enterprise sector. So we think that the potential for innovation in the context of working with other council members and, and working with your team is pretty substantial. And we would like to, I think success for us is, is really showing uh, to, to the world in, in a meaningful way that these two worlds can come together in such a way that creates substantial business value and value for the communities involved and kind of the world at large. So we have big ambitions uh, for, this, for this partnership, Mance, uh, in being part of the Governance Council, as I know you do as well. And, uh, and we're excited to partner with enterprises and, and members of your ecosystem who share that common vision. Uh, so again, thank you for joining us today. This was very impromptu. We wanted to do this so the community could get a sort of an additional flavor for what the relationship looks like, what the intentions are, what we hope to achieve in combination with each other. Is there anything else you'd like to add at this time? Yeah, we're, we're excited about, uh, about joining the council and, and working with uh, both your team and the other council members, as I said, to make, to make big things happen. Um, we, we, we appreciate the fact that uh, you brought us in. I know that we're not the, the traditional uh, type of uh, organization that joins, but uh, we are uh, very excited to, I think, provide some unique value in, in terms of merging these worlds together. And I think that as an organization, you know, Chainlinks Labs is, is very well positioned to help advance the mission of not only the council, but also the Hedera network uh, as a whole. Absolutely. Look, the feeling is mutual. We're very glad to have Chainlink Labs on the council, and I personally look forward to working with you in the trenches to to create the uh, the vision that we sort of collectively have here. Um, welcome again, and we'll see you in the next council meeting.